Hello everyone and welcome to your brand new coronavirus update for April 1st, 2020. We're going to get started immediately here with the virus. There's no April Fool stuff, no joking around. This virus isn't a joke. I know there have been some coronavirus pranks and jokes going around the internet today. We're not going to be doing any of that. Let's talk about the virus, the real numbers. First of all, here are the countries with the new infections. Caribbean, Netherlands um, getting the infection today, um, being the only country or territory that's got an infection today. On the coronavirus world map, things are looking pretty much as they did yesterday, although we do have that one extra territory again with at least one case of coronavirus now. Total cases around the globe were at 935,022 cases. We're on track to hit over a million cases tomorrow when I make my update. Closed cases were at around 241,000. We have about um, 693,000 active cases. We've had 20% of our closed cases be deaths and about 80% be recoveries. It should be noted for every one person that's been tested, at least in the United States, there are probably five more people or so that actually have the virus. Therefore, if we took this throughout the entirety of the world, the death rate would be around 4% right now. All right, active cases, um, again, around 693,000. People in mild condition, about 95%. Those in serious or critical condition, at about 35,000 um, or so. Again, 5% of those people in serious or critical condition. In the United States, at least, death rate looking to be um, less than 1% if everything does go correctly, if we continue to take the action we're taking. If we don't, 1-3% to 3 possible death rate in the United States. Not 100% sure how that goes for the rest of the world. All right, 76,000 new cases today, 4,880 new deaths. Here are the countries with the most infections. The United States at 214,836 infections. Italy at 110,000. Uh, 574 infections, Spain at about 100,000, China still around 81,554 according to them. Again, we know those numbers are inaccurate. Germany at 77,981, France at 56,989, Iran at 47,000 or so, UK at 29,474, Switzerland at 17,768, and Turkey at 15,679. Here are the countries with the most new infections in the past day. U.S. at around 26,000, Spain at about 8,000, Germany at about 6,000, France at about 4,000, Italy at about 4,000, U.K. at about 4,000, Iran at about 3,000, Turkey at about 2,000, Belgium at about 1,000, and Switzerland at 1,163. Here are the countries with the most deaths. Italy at around 13,000 deaths. Spain at 9,000, U.S. at 5,099, France at 4,032, China at 3,312, uh, Iran at 3,036, U.K. at 2,352, Netherlands at 1,173, Germany at 931, Belgium at 828. All right, let's talk about deaths in the past day. U.S. at over 1,000 deaths today. Spain at 923, Italy at 727, U.K. at 563, France at 509, Germany at 156, Iran at 138, Netherlands at 134, Belgium at 123, and Turkey at 63. Let's talk a little bit more now about the United States, what's going on within the United States. Here's what we have, 83,000 cases now in the state of New York, on track to hit over 100,000 cases sooner rather than later. And you can see around the country, um, California is likely to exceed 10,000 soon. Uh, we're seeing uh, New Jersey become another hot spot. Illinois has increased by about 1,000 cases. We have uh, about 500 more cases in Missouri. Lots of new cases popping up around the country right now. It is a relatively serious thing. If places have less than 1,000 cases, they're now in the uh, littlest bubble. Things continue to escalate with this. Uh, and as you can see, just uh, most states now having over 1,000 cases. Right here are the United States statistics overall, 214,966 total cases. We've had about 13,000 closed cases, um, about 5,100 deaths, 8,878 recoveries. All right, of active cases, we have about 200,000 of those, 98% of people in good condition, 2% in serious or critical condition. New cases, we have about 26,000, and we have about 1,000 new deaths today. Let's talk about the economy. How's the economy doing? A terrible day for the stock market. Uh, Dow lost about 40 
4% of its value. You can see that across the board. Unfortunately, coronavirus fears continue to knock down the market as the world economy remains at a halt, and it looks like we're not going to be upping these social distancing guidelines anytime soon. With that being said, it looks like we're just we're going to continue to see this economic downturn occur. It is quite unfortunate to see, but it is happening. Talking about commodities, we have oil at $21.09, gas at $1.59, and gold at $1,603.60. What's driving the market? Primarily coronavirus fears at this time. That's probably going to be what continues to be the main driving force of the market for the next few months. All right, well, while we are in this time that is very uncertain and we don't have a lot of control, what can we control? What can we do to help stop the, stop the spread? When it comes to trash, get a dedicated lined trash can, if possible, for a sick person if you have one in your house. Use gloves when removing garbage bags and handling and disposing trash, and wash your hands very well afterwards. You can go to cdc.gov for more information on what they're thinking. You can also go to coronavirus.gov, as they also have some really good information on how you can help with the coronavirus and how to prepare. When it comes to food, stay separated. The sick person should eat or be fed in their room if possible. Wash dishes and utensils using gloves and very hot water. Handle any non-disposable use food service items with gloves washed with hot water or in a dishwasher. Clean hands after using food or service items. When it comes to your bedroom and bathroom, keep a separate bedroom and bathroom for the sick person. The sick person should stay isolated from everyone else. And again, it's just... Um, you know, it's an isolation thing. If you have someone that's sick in your home, here's how you help stop the spread to the rest of your family. All right, well, you can follow us on Facebook at Microcasting St. Louis or Microcasting Tropics, on Twitter at STL or TRO, and on Instagram at Microcasting St. Louis or Microcasting Tropical. All right, well, I hope you did get some information out of this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you've had a nice April 1st, and I hope that today has been a good day for you. Uh, some things that have been helping me with this uncertain situation is just some reading and making sure that I am up to date with current events. The more informed you are, the less fearful you will be. I hope this did give you some good information, and I hope that I'm doing my part to help out. If you have any other information that you'd like to know in these updates, please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than glad to add it starting on tomorrow's update. Alright, again, thank you all so much for watching. This is Microcasting, signing out.